Hey, young professionals, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is super weird, right? Everybody's online with us, and um, I just think that this is an awesome opportunity for us to gather um, above and beyond what we could have fit into a classroom. So welcome, everybody. We're so excited to be here. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Laura. I am the Associate Director for the Young Professionals community, and I'm here with... Nicole Smith, and I am one of the volunteers here at the Young Professionals. And Seth Willie, I'm one of the leaders here at Young Professionals. So, my awesome dear friends have joined me, and uh, we are going to get started with our normal announcements that we usually do. So, hey, if you're new and joining us for the first time today, uh, throw a fist bump in the comments. Um, and let us know that you're here watching with us. We'd love to uh, meet you online and uh, say hi. So put a fist bump in the comments and let us know that you're watching with us. Um, regarding all of our social events, as you guys know, we are social distancing. So those are on hold for um, the foreseeable future. Once everything subsides and we're able to get back out into the world, all of our social events will be back up and running. Um, and the best way to stay connected with us is by following us on social media. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at CS Young Pros. So make sure that you're staying connected with us through those pages. Um, and of course, we're praying for you. We are super big in prayer and we would love to stand with you in prayer during this time. And so if you have any prayer requests, make sure you put those in the comments or send us a DM so we can stand with you in prayer. Um, we are going to continue our series that we have been studying over the past couple weeks on Psalm 23. And this week we are going to cover verse four. It's the fourth week of the series. And so before we do that, and before we jump in into our discussion here together, I'm going to pray us in and we're gonna get started. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for uh, God, this opportunity for us to gather online. God, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for every single person that is watching online, God. Um, I pray for our discussion today, God. I pray that uh, we can just seek you and seek your presence during this time, God. And I just pray that you speak to every single one of us that is watching, God. In your name I pray, amen. amen. All right, so we're going to read through Psalm 23. We've been covering the past uh, three verses and we're in verse four this week, but I'm gonna go ahead and read through verses one through four um, together before uh, we dive into verse four. So pull out your Bibles or your phones and uh, we're going to read again, Psalm 23, verse one. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse four, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So right. what are you guys' takeaways from that verse? Whew. Well, let me tell you this, um, this very first line in here that says, even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, right? If that isn't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say it's like getting crazy out there, but like entire states are locking down now, yeah. right? Um, if, if there is a shadow that's being cast over not only our world, but like the whole country mm -hmm. and the whole world, mm -hmm. this is, this is it. And um, Matt Chandler um, says in the video uh, that we've been going through on this, uh, that everything's been pretty feel good uh, up until this verse. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's like, oh, this is real life mm -hmm. yeah. right here. Yeah. I don't think it could be any more timely that we are studying this verse this week. Right. Um, this week has really been a trying and tough one, I think, for everyone out there. Mm -hmm. So it, this verse has brought a lot of comfort to me. I think one of the things that, um, and and Pastor Chris was mentioning this um, in, in a sermon a couple Sundays ago. Uh, that as Christians we think oh you know once we know God like everything just smooths out in our life and like when bad things happen it's like well that's not for us that's for other people like mm -hmm. God loves us he's supposed to, he's our loving father like everything's supposed to be okay mm -hmm. uh, in our lives but uh, I'm constantly reminded of uh, this verse from John John 16 33 uh, where uh, Jesus says I have told you these things so that you may have peace in yeah. this world you will have trouble yeah. you will have trouble he says but take heart, take heart. I have overcome the world. And not just that, oh, the troubles will cease or um, 
you know, I'll, we'll fight through those troubles, but he's overcome the, the, the whole world, every, this whole structure, everything that's going on, viruses, whatever it is, mm-hmm. he's overcome. Um, and so it's, it's that, that double-edged thing. And I think this verse has a lot of that. It has like the mm-hmm. dark valley, but it al- also has hope on the other side. Right, a lot of hope. And more than just Jesus overcoming the world, he overcame death. Yeah, amen. That's, I think, a lot of people's ultimate fear right now. It's, it's a really trying time, and people are afraid of dying, and mm-hmm. there are a lot of people out there dying, but we don't need to be afraid. Right. Jesus has overcome death. He rose again for us, mm-hmm. and so the hope in that, I, I just, I think it's just something we really need to remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, the, the thing about, uh, for a Christian, is that there's, um, there's, two things to deal with. There's the, there's a suffering aspect, which is this life, um, mm-hmm. that there will be suffering. Jesus himself went through suffering. He showed us what it looked like to live the way he lived for God, and that did involve like hardship and suffering. Um, but there was, there was that other side of, of peace and comfort and um, that, that the Father would bring into his life. Now, ultimately, if suffering ends in death, for the believer, uh, that's merely the beginning of something mm-hmm. even better, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and, and so with salvation that we have through Christ, we have uh, this ultimate hope that like, e- even if things got as bad as they could possibly get, that's it. Like that's as, that's as bad as we would ever experience yeah. in, in our entire existence because uh, what's beyond that is um, being with God um, in heaven basically yeah. uh, forever after that. So let's break down these... Um, the parts of this of verse four. Mm. Um, let's talk about like even though I walk through the darkest mm. valley mm-hmm. or through the shadow of mm-hmm. death, like what were your takeaways from that? Well, I think one of the big pieces is the fact that it says walk. Mm-hmm. We're not standing still. We're mm-hmm. not stagnant. We are moving forward and we're making progress, but we're not rushing. Yeah. We're not running. We're walking and we're allowing ourselves to be guided through this valley um, by our shepherd who mm-hmm. knows what's to come and what mm-hmm. is coming, what is there, and can guide us the safest and best way through it, even though it it feels like there's a lot of uncertainties out there. He has the certainties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that was so key as I was uh, studying uh, this verse, the fact that it says that I walk through the valley. It doesn't say that we're standing in the valley, mm-hmm. stuck in the valley, uh, or running, running through, through the it. valley. Right. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Because I know if if... I saw the shadow of death coming towards me. Yeah. Like I just imagine, like, um, what's what's that figure of death that has like the sickle or whatever? Yes. The, the Grim Reaper. Like <laughs> that's what I think is like the, the shadow of death. Like if I saw the Grim Reaper, I'm running, I would be, uh, bolting right <laughs> to the mountain top. Be that yeah. cartoon with those little spinning <laughs> yeah, legs like... going. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even be able to see the feet. And so why is it that in this moment the shadow of the Grim Reaper basically is like on? David in, in this metaphorical mm-hmm. sense and yet he's walking it's like because he, just imagine like what it's like uh, how he envisions God to be standing behind him right. to, beside him that shepherd is not just a mere uh, maybe human being he's almost like a in this sense like the superhero this is that's just bigger than life yeah and of course mm-hmm. God is the yeah biggest universe mm-hmm. and plus some um, but like that is who's next to him so of course he's just gonna be like hey I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk through this. Yeah. Yeah. And I think saying even the word through is very important. Right. We're not walking in the valley. We're not Mm. just going to go in circles and meander through Mm -hmm. and take a tour. We are going to get through it to the other side eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's very important that that word's in there. Yeah. It's point A to point B, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, one of the the cool things I I read was about, just pointed out the fact that if there's a shadow, that means there's light. Yes. I loved that. Uh, Mm -hmm. If, if, there's a shadow of death. That means there's light somewhere that's, mm-hmm. that's casting that shadow. Yeah. Uh, so we know, if you will, it's a metaphorical like light at the end of the tunnel. There is light in that valley, mm-hmm. uh, even though there there is a shadow of darkness there. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, also just the, the nature of the the shadow. Right. It's not death it, itself, right? Isn't uh-huh. that what the commentary said? That it's yeah. it's actually the shadow of death, not mm-hmm. necessarily death itself, mm-hmm. and there were some cool things that were pointed out. Um, yeah, I mean, just think of a shadow. Like, uh, again, this this commentary that we were all just kind of studying before this is that uh, it's it's a dog that can't bite you, right? Because mm-hmm. it's the shadow, the shadow of, a dog, of the dog. Right? Mm-hmm. It's a sword that can't kill you right. because it's just the shadow of the sword. It's, mm-hmm. uh, it's the shadow of death, which can't take you yeah. uh, from God because yeah. he 
he's already got us yeah. we're already in his hand it's it's just the shadow of it um it's powerless in that sense um and that's again the, that hope that we have mm -hmm. and we're being like really doom and gloom talking a lot about death right now. <laughs> this could be any hardship in your life it just so happens that we have a pandemic <laughs> virus going around the world it's so timely but this once we're past that, this is going to be like that hard day at work. This is going to be like that relationship that seems to be falling apart. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's just remember, let's, let's bring it back up to like, you know, what normal life used to look like. <laughs> right. uh, because that's, uh, this applies to all of that. It's not right. just like uh, that we're all going to die. Right. We're not all going to die. No. no. So. <laughs> and I'm picturing the shadow almost, um, you know, those silly shadow puppets that you make on the wall. Mm. And they're so fun to make. And you can make that shadow puppet look really scary. But in the end, you know, it's just a shadow. It yeah. can't do anything. Right. Um, so it just brings it to a little silly level, yeah. I guess. Which then transitions into the next part of the verse that I will fear no evil. Mm. I will fear no evil for you are with me. Mm -hmm. Like there's the hope and the comfort, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't say that we have to enjoy being in that valley. Right. It's it's saying that this is an ominous, dark place to be. Um, but we're going to get through that, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, but we don't need to be afraid of it. Right. Because, again, it's not the actual thing right there. It's mm -hmm. just the shadow of that thing, of whatever bad things that's going on right there. So we don't have to be afraid. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, there's a, I heard a great um, sermon one time that just pointed out all of the be strong, do not fear, mm. be courageous, mm -hmm. take heart, like <laughs> that, that that precedes so many verses in, in the Bible. Right. And frequently they're spoken directly by God or mm -hmm. Jesus, constantly saying, don't be afraid, don't mm -hmm. fear, take mm -hmm. heart, mm -hmm. uh, have courage. I think courage. it's 365 times if I've heard correctly. Yep. So there's one for every single day of the year. Do not new fear. Fear not, do not yeah. fear, mm -hmm. do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it's always followed up by why not, right? Mm -hmm. And it's something powerful. So like Deuteronomy 31, six says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, uh, them being the enemies that mm -hmm. were coming against Israel at the time. Mm -hmm. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or he forsake, forsake you. you. Yeah. Right? David knows these verses mm -hmm. uh, when he's writing this, and he's just writing them into his story uh, when he's saying that as the shepherd, that shepherd will defend me, will be with me, will never forsake me. Yeah. Um, and in fact, we just uh, did a whole series that was about not forsaking, yep, right. how God will never uh, forsake us. And mm -hmm. then there's even there's another verse uh, that says, uh, saying, well, actually, let's do this one. John uh, 14, 16, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you, uh, advocate or, or comforter, mm -hmm. and uh, to help you and be with you forever. Mm -hmm. Again, this idea that God uh, would give us somebody who, uh, a, a part of himself mm -hmm. that, or actually all of himself, mm -hmm. if we're identifying the Trinity correctly here, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, that he would give himself to us in an even more intimate and personal way after yeah. Jesus left. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Jesus says, you know, yes, I, I'll be with you for a short time. He tells his disciples, yep. I'll be with you for a short time, but uh, I'm going to uh, send the Holy Spirit. Send the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send a comfort, somebody yeah. uh, who's going to be with you uh, always. always. And, and that verse uh, specifically talks about, hey, we have God with us. So that, that shepherd that's next to us, that's the Holy Spirit yeah. mm -hmm. that's with us. Mm -hmm. And I love that in this this part of the verse, it switches tenses, right? From mm. third person, we've been talking about the shepherd, yeah. to now David identifies it as you. It changes from that third person to second person. It really identifies that it's this intimate relationship yeah. now between the sheep and the shepherd, or between us and Jesus, yeah. us and God, us and the Holy Spirit. You are with me. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. We get into this um, this last part of the verse here where uh, it says, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Mm -hmm. um, there's there's power in both of those things. Yeah. Like, uh, God's God. I mean, his His hand could wipe off things on the face of the earth if, <laughs> if you wanted it to. But it's it's this idea of, um, and, and David's talking from experience here. Yeah. He was a, a shepherd, shepherd mm -hmm. right? That's right. Mm -hmm. He had a rod, he had a staff, right. and he beat down a lion, beat down a bear, yeah. like, you know, like he's familiar with uh, protecting his sheep. Right. And he, he brings that into the story mm -hmm. uh, where he's talking about, hey, you have uh, power in your hands. You have these tools, these weapons mm -hmm. uh, that will protect me. And what does that do? It comforts me. It right? comforts right. us. Absolutely. Even more so. He'll fight for us. He will guide us. Mm -hmm. He will be there for us. And that is the biggest comfort I think that we can take from all of this. Yeah. And just seeking that peace, I love 
um, what we heard a couple of Sundays ago from pa Pastor Chris is just that, that peace that surpasses all mm -hmm. understanding, right? Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the peace that does not make sense. This is a comfort. This is just like something that we know that we are protected from, mm -hmm. right? And just like that peace of the Holy Spirit um, that we will not fear any evil, that we are protected and we are safe and that he, he is with us and his presence is so real in this moment and these times. I don't know about how you two have been handling everything going on in the world, but the last few weeks have been so trying for me. And in my head, mm -hmm. I keep hearing, you should be panicking, you should be worried. Right. But in in the rest of me, mm -hmm. I felt a calm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it took me up until a few days that I realized that really was Jesus in there, yes. just keeping me calm mm -hmm. and providing me with a calmness that I did not understand because mm -hmm. I kept saying, I should be panicking, I should be freaking out. Everyone else in the world is doing that right yeah. now. And I'm, I'm not really. Yeah. The, the Bible specifically talks about a peace that surpasses understanding, mm -hmm. right? That that's something as believers that we can have. And that's exactly, mm -hmm. I think you're experiencing that, uh, where it's like your head, logic, everything around you is in a panic, right. and yet somehow you have calm in the midst mm -hmm. of that. And that very that is the image that's exactly in this verse, mm -hmm. right. walking through the, sh the valley of the shadow of death, which is about the scariest thing that yeah. any human mm -hmm. could face, is your life ending. And, and David here is talking about how calm and peaceful he is because of God walking alongside him. Yeah. So let's let's get to the the tail end of this um, and just talk about this this comfort. Second uh, Corinthians one three through four says, "Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion." So using mm, this Father mm -hmm. imagery again that we've we've discussed before, mm -hmm. the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, the God of all comfort who comforts us in our troubles, yeah. right? Which is all we've been talking about today. And what I love about this is because this um, this is the whole takeaway for us as Christians and being in this body of believers and how even though we're apart right. and separated and isolated, we're all in this together. Yeah. It says in the second part of this verse, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Yeah. Yes. It's really hard to help somebody else when we ourselves um, are are weak, right? right. When, mm -hmm. when we're in need. Uh, but when we can come from a place of strength and peace and comfort and stability in our own life, mm -hmm. it's amazing how we can then uh, bring that into other people's life and basically be the hands and feet of God right. of bringing right. that into other people's mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. And I just keep thinking through how this is a dark time in our world, right? And I have gone through so many dark times on my own, yeah. but I feel like and those times I have been alone. People didn't understand what I was going through. Mm -hmm. I was really having to get through it and people come and try to understand it and comfort you and give you some empathy, but they don't really understand it. Right now we're all going through these yeah. scary times together. Yeah. Everyone gets it. Yeah. Everyone knows. Everyone's confused. Everyone's a little worried. Everyone is, you know, we don't know what's coming tomorrow. Change things are changing every single day, yeah. every few hours. Yeah. Um, and so we can really comfort each other and be there for each other, pray for each other, and still be the community together, right. even if we're physically apart. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And I love that unity, and I love these online platforms. I just love all of the amazing opportunities that are kind of coming out of this. We're like, mm -hmm. not just here in the United States, but literally all over the world, we are united through this. Yes. And it's just an awesome like time to like really seek the presence of God and know that He is comforting us during this time. Um, and it's just an opportunity for revival too for those yes. that don't believe, right? Absolutely. Just amazing. And just knowing that God is here for us in the scary times, in the happy times, in these dark valleys, mm -hmm. and that he has promised us so much more and we are gonna get to walk through this dark mm -hmm. valley and make it out into his brilliance at the end. Yeah, yeah. There's Absolutely. purpose in the suffering. Mm -hmm. And I mean that, <laughs> and we're gonna see some of that, uh, like how we're, how we're coming out, like what we have to look forward to right. in the verse next week. Right. So come back next week. For, <laughs> for the party. For the, for the party. party. Yeah, <laughs> the feast. Um, and so we're going to transition into our, uh, per se, our table discussions. We are going to be posting the questions um, and we want to hear from you. We still want to have this sense of community and engagement with each other. And so we'll have the questions that are going to be posted. We want to hear from everybody um, so that way we can answer the questions together and uh, be together online. So uh, we've been watching the uh, Right Now Media series with Matt Chandler on Psalm 23. And if you don't have access to that, you can get access to it by texting right now space CS to 
to 41411 so you can access that video and watch it with us again it's psalm 23 by matt chandler and we're covering verse 4 so you can watch that it's fantastic us. so i think everybody out there should definitely check it out yeah and then we'll also continue our weekly devotionals. Um, we will be doing that through the Bible app, the YouVersion uh, Bible app. And so the weekly devotional will be posted on our social media pages so you can stay connected with us through that um, as well. So with that, um, Seth, will you close us out in prayer? Sure thing. Okay. Lord, thank you uh, so much for this opportunity. Uh, thank you so much for this technology, Lord. Thank you for uh, everything that you're doing, Lord, in the midst of uh, this this dark season uh, of the shadow uh, that's cast over our entire world, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a chance for your light to shine even brighter than it ever has before. Amen. Uh, Lord, I pray that we dig into these verses, Lord, that we uh, see how they connect with our life, Lord, uh, as, as they did in David's life, Lord. He went through uh, some of the hardest uh, times any person could go through, and, and he saw you on the other side of it, he saw you next to him. Uh, Lord, I pray that that's how we see you mm -hmm. as we study these verses. We see you as our loving father who's never gonna leave our side, who right. is there to fight for us and protect us and to comfort us, Lord. And also know that, uh, Lord, in that, as, as we do find that peace, as we do find that peace that surpasses all understanding, uh, that we're then able to bring others into that peace, mm -hmm. uh, Lord, by um, bringing them to you uh, and showing them, Lord, where they can find uh, that lasting peace, something that's uh, far beyond uh, anything that they could uh, grasp right now as they, they struggle to find it, Lord. Mm -hmm. I pray that we are the lights uh, and uh, that even though uh, we are apart from each other, Lord, uh, that we know that we are better together, Lord, that we Amen. are a body together, Lord. And I pray that we take care of each other and reach out to each other this week, uh, remembering that. Lord, I pray for this discussion time that's uh, about to happen now. I uh, pray that you would guide it and um, we thank you for this time. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 amen.